Good morning, everybody. We continue to talk about Hurricane Sandy. This will be the big national story for the next three to five day period. It's being called a superstorm, meaning that it's one for the record books and the pressure has bottomed out this morning at almost a record at 946 millibars. That's not a record for hurricanes. That's a record for the Northeast. There's never been a storm system so powerful to move into the Northeast. Its winds have now jumped up to 85 miles per hour. If you were watching it last night, 75 mile per hour wind, so it is strengthening and it's now going to make that left hook and turn back to the coast. It looks like sometime overnight tonight we'll see a landfall of Sandy and it could be very close to the New Jersey Delaware state line getting to the Philadelphia metro area Harrisburg and then it takes a right hook and goes back out to see as we go from Saturday into Sunday. Now notice we here in Michigan are not in the forecast path, but the width of the winds, it's so large that we are actually under wind advisories and high wind warnings for some of us. And we even could see a little bit of a rain snow mix coming up tonight with the cold air filtering into this system. So a crazy storm system, one that is certainly going to last in the memory for a while. Here's some morning showers on the thumb. This all associated with a front that moved through a couple of days ago, indirectly associated with sand and as we look at your temperatures, we're down to 36 now in Bay City and Saginaw. It's 39 in Flint. Alma coming in at 33, 34 in Mount Pleasant, 40 at Bad Axe, and 39 in Sandusky. But it feels much colder out there because of the strong gusty winds. All the counties highlighted in the light blue. That's for Saginaw and Bay counties. We are looking at also Genesee County. Wind advisories go in place at noon today and last until 5 p.m. tomorrow. Every county highlighted in blue has the likelihood of seeing wind gusts over 40 miles per hour this afternoon. All the counties highlighted in the dark blue, Sanilac County, also over towards Huron County. We're looking at a high wind warning, meaning that the gusts could be higher than 50 miles per hour because there's no friction out here on the lake. And as the winds come across it, they'll speed up and then they'll start to slow down once they move a little inland. So all in all, everybody's going to see very strong winds. Right now, they're not too terrible. 10 to 15 miles per hour sustained. I've already seen some gusts over towards Harbor Beach, though, at 37, 26 in Bad Axe and about 20 or so around Flint. So these ones will pick up and last throughout the day. Also into tomorrow, Liz, so we're in for a little bit of a breezy, a bad hair day for the ladies. Let's call it that. Not enough hairspray, I guess, to hold those winds at, a, at bay at least throughout today and getting into tomorrow.